Australia wants a laser weapon powerful enough to fry drones and tanks. The People's Liberation Army Navy used a military-grade laser to attack a Royal Australian Air Force P-8A Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft. Australian, U.S. and other Western military aircraft have previously been confronted by Chinese naval and coast guard vessels in the South China Sea. Now Australia has taken steps towards developing directed energy weapons, also known as laser weapons, to arm the Australian Army and its Navy. Kinetic Australia will develop and manufacture a high-energy laser weapon system prototype for the Australian Department of Defence. The Australian arm of the multinational defence technology company announced the three-year, $13 million directed energy laser weapon development contract to establish a sovereign, in-country, high-energy laser manufacturing capability for Australia. The move followed years of work and interest by Australia's government in developing lasers for the battlefields of tomorrow. Australia wants a laser weapon powerful enough to fry a tank or drones. A directed energy weapon concentrates large amounts of electromagnetic energy on a remote target. This energy might be in the form of light, a laser, but microwaves or radio waves can also be used. Directed energy weapons have all these advantages over conventional weapons, proven to be useful against drones. Still, Australia wants a laser weapon powerful enough to melt the thick armor of a tank or armored vehicle. The US has been able to make a relatively low-power 50 kilowatts laser compact enough to fit on an armored vehicle, although devices operating at powers up to 300 kilowatts have been developed. The potential military advantages of directed energy weapons, and the consequences of an adversary having them, mean Australia will maintain laser weapons in its arsenal. But as recent policy decisions about nuclear submarines have shown, it is no easy task to quickly develop an industrial capability in technologies that the Australian industrial base has until now largely ignored. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram.